When you're coming up to the slopes, you want to have a waterproof outer layer. Your pants, your coat, your gloves, mittens. The temperatures are going to change. In the morning, it's going to be colder, and then throughout the day, it may be getting a lot warmer, especially during the spring. Bring up layers of clothing so as the temperatures increase, you can shed layers off. You'd rather be a little bit warmer than colder because once you're cold, you can't keep putting more layers on that you don't have. So you want to make sure that you have an outer layer that's waterproof and then layer it up. You can have types of clothing that absorb sweat. There's like Under Armour um, types of fabric that absorb sweat uh, that are a little bit warmer or a little bit cooler. So the big key is to have an outer layer that's waterproof and then to layer it up. There's fabrics out there that are going to be a little bit more flexible, that insulate a little bit better. When you're up snowboarding, I don't recommend wearing the cotton socks that can get wet and they don't insulate very well. And then also, you want to have flexibility. So a, a tight pair of jeans isn't a very good idea to be wearing up, even as an underlayer. I've seen before where people just come out in jeans, which is it's too bad. They, they just don't know. The, if the, the, product, the fabric gets wet and then it freezes, you're going to be really cold. So you want to have fabrics that are they're loose, that absorb. You want fabrics that will insulate if they get wet. And you want fabric and clothing that's not too tight so that you have good movement. This is just one of the many tutorials that we have. Sign up for the full course at flowingthroughide.com.